Computers now using emails and phone calls to build their case against baby Gabriel's mother, Elizabeth Johnson. ABC 15's Corey Rangel has been following this case. And Corey, what did today's testimony reveal? Steve, prosecutors showed emails that painted baby Gabriel's father as a man desperate to take care of his son, while Elizabeth Johnson did what she could to keep Gabriel away from his dad. Now, Johnson started crying in court again today as she heard police read through some of the emails she sent back and forth to baby Gabriel's his father Logan McQuarrie. In those emails, Logan told Johnson he loved his son to death and accused Johnson of pushing him away. Prosecutors also played a recorded phone call, and during that call, Johnson claimed she gave her son away to strangers. She met at a park, saying she only knew their first names and nothing else about them. So you have no way of finding these people at all. I'm in jail, no. If you were to get out of jail, would you be able to find them? Um, I don't know. Now, you'll remember at one point, Johnson told baby Gabriel's father she killed their son. When asked why during the call, she said Logan McCleary ruined her life and she wanted to hurt him emotionally. We're expecting to hear more recordings tomorrow, and the state is expected to wrap up their case tomorrow or possibly Wednesday. Yeah, and all of these phone calls just muddy the issue of where baby Gabriel really is. Thanks so much, Corey.